स्वागत है आप सभी का हमारे इस डॉक्टर डी केयर चैनल के ऊपर जहाँ पर हम आज बात करेंगे कोलेस्ट्रॉल के ऊपर जो कि कुछ दिनों से वो सोशल मीडिया के ऊपर ज़्यादा वायरल हो चुका है और उसी के रिलेटेड हम कुछ जानकारी आपके साथ शेयर करेंगे शायद आप में से कुछ लोगों को पता भी होगा कि आजकल व्हाट्सएप के अंदर कुछ कोलेस्ट्रॉल को रिलेटेड कुछ ऐसी जानकारी आ रही है जो कि हमें ज़्यादा पता नहीं था लेकिन हम इस चैनल के द्वारा आपको बताएंगे कि कोलेस्ट्रॉल क्या है कोलेस्ट्रॉल किसको होता है कैसे होता है उसका हिस्ट्री क्या है वो सारी बातें हम आगे जानेंगे डिटेल में तो आगे इस वीडियो में आपको कोलेस्ट्रॉल के बारे में कुछ ऐसे इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट्स बताऊंगा जो जहां पर आपको एग्जैक्ट पता चलेगा कोलेस्ट्रॉल कब स्टार्ट हुआ किसने खोज की उसके अंदर क्या रिसर्च हुए थे और आगे जाकर कुछ ऐसी होम रेमिडीज में आपके लिए लाया हूँ जो कि कोलेस्ट्रॉल के लिए सबसे बढ़िया है और आप अगर उसका यूज़ करोगे आपके घर के अंदर तो डेफिनेटली आपको अच्छे से अच्छा रिजल्ट मिलेगा कोलेस्ट्रॉल के लिए नमस्कार दोस्तों मेरा नाम है डॉक्टर डी आइए जानते हैं सबसे पहले कि ये कोलेस्ट्रॉल आखिर है क्या कोलेस्ट्रॉल किसको कहते हैं कोलेस्ट्रॉल एक मूंग जैसा पदार्थ होता है जो कि हमारे लीवर से उत्पन्न होता है और हमारे शरीर में जितना भी कोलेस्ट्रॉल का जरूरत है उतना 80 से 85 परसेंटेज हमारा लीवर ही हमारे कोलेस्ट्रॉल बना देता है कोलेस्ट्रॉल हमारे बॉडी के अंदर विटामिन डी बनाने के लिए डाइजेस्टिव जूस बनाने के लिए और उसको प्रॉपर डाइजेशन कराने के लिए बहुत ही ज़रूरी है हमारे बॉडी के लिए कोलेस्ट्रोल को अगर हम डिवाइड करेंगे तो उसका जो मीनिंग होता है वो एक ग्रीक शब्द से बनता है एंशेंट ग्रीक वर्ड है कॉले एंड तो दोनों को अगर हम समझेंगे तो कॉले का मीनिंग है बाइल एंड स्ट्रोल का मीनिंग है कि ऐसा कुछ पदार्थ जो कि हमारे खून के अंदर मिक्स नहीं होता ऐसा कुछ गाढ़ा पदार्थ है जो कि हमारे ब्लड के अंदर मिक्स नहीं होता है उसको हम कहते हैं कोलेस्ट्रोल तो मैं आपको बता दूं कि कोलेस्ट्रोल की जो खोज पहली बार एटीन में हुई थी जो एक केमिस्ट ने की थी जिसका नाम है माइकल यूगिन फिर उसके एक्जैक्ट एक या इकतीस साल के बाद अमेरिकन मेडिकल जनरल मेडिकल ने एक स्टडी में बताया कि कोलेस्ट्रोल एक ऐसी चीज़ है जिसकी वजह से हमें हार्ट डिजीज होता है हमें खाली इतना ही ध्यान रखना है जो कोलेस्ट्रोल का लेवल है 130 के पर डेजिलेटर के ऊपर ना जाए जिनको भी हार्ट का इश्यू ऑलरेडी है प्रॉब्लम उनको 120 के ऊपर नहीं जा लेके जाना है अगर आप कोलेस्ट्रोल को उसकी जो मैंने मात्रा बताई उसको अगर मेनटेन करेंगे तो डेफिनेटली आपको कभी भी लाइफ में कभी भी कुछ भी प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगी अभी आगे जाके मैं बताऊंगा कुछ उसके बेस्ट कुछ रेमेडीज आ, आपके घर के लिए और कुछ उसके जो कॉम्प्लिकेशन होते हैं अगर हम ध्यान नहीं देंगे कोलेस्ट्रॉल के लिए उसके लिए रिलेटेड जो कॉम्प्लिकेशन होते हैं हमारे बॉडी में वो हम मैं आपके डिटेल में अभी बताऊंगा फिर नेक्स्ट में हम समझेंगे कि कोलेस्ट्रोल के लिए क्या प्राणायाम कर सकते हैं कोलेस्ट्रोल के लिए क्या कुछ ऐसे योगासन है जो कि हमें कोलेस्ट्रोल के लिए काम आते हैं Cholesterol is a fat-like substance that plays a vital role in every cell of your body because it's a building block for cells and hormones. The cholesterol you have in your body comes from your liver and your diet. It's important to understand that there are two types: LDL and HDL. The first type, LDL cholesterol, travels from the liver and the stomach into the gut. where it's absorbed into the blood stream and travels to the body's tissues. When there's too much of this type of cholesterol in your blood stream, it can build up, narrowing your arteries. This is why this type is sometimes known as bad cholesterol. When there is too much cholesterol in your blood stream, it's known as having high cholesterol. This is a key risk factor in the development of heart disease. The second type HDL cholesterol also travels from your liver and stomach to the gut where it's absorbed into the blood stream. However, unlike bad LDL cholesterol, HDL is returned to the liver where it's broken down, which is why it's also known as good cholesterol. Symptoms of high cholesterol. People often ignore the warning signs of high cholesterol until the problem becomes severe. It is important to be aware of these signs as addressing the problem early can save you from future complications. If you have multiple signs and symptoms of this problem, ask your doctor to check your health levels and get the best high cholesterol treatment.
10 Symptoms of High Cholesterol That You Shouldn't Ignore 1. Frequent Tingling Tingling in the hands and feet is a sign of low blood circulation. This occurs when the blood flow becomes slower because of the high levels of cholesterol in the blood. 2. Frequent Headaches Frequent headaches in the back of the head might be a result of clogged blood vessels in the area around the head. This occurs due to clogging of cholesterol plaques start forming in blood vessels. If this condition is left unchecked, the blood vessels can rupture and lead to a stroke. 3. Your hands and feet are always cold. Before we continue this video, do not forget to subscribe my channel to see other useful health videos. If your extremities are getting cold for no reason it could relate to poor blood flow. If you notice one foot or hand is cold and the other is not, it's especially important to bring it up to a doctor. However, if you feel like one leg or foot is cold, but not the other, it could be time to talk to your doctor. 4. Left Chest Pain Left chest pain is another sign of high cholesterol levels. Even a minimal plaque creation in any part of the body can decrease blood flow. The heart works more to restore normal blood flow and this can cause pain or palpitation. This pain can also be a sign of a heart attack. Left chest related to the heart that acts as a blood pumping. Blockage of blood vessels around the heart can cause pain like impaled. The pain may even spread up to the neck. Chest pain can also be a sign of a heart attack. This condition can be a sign that blood cholesterol levels are too high. 5. Sore hands and feet. Blood vessels in the legs and hands also could be clogged due to the accumulation of cholesterol. This buildup generally occurs continuously and make the hands and feet sore. If you have high cholesterol, your hands and feet becomes often sore, because blood vessels in your legs and hands become narrower. 6. Cholesterol buildup in your eyes. When your body has too much cholesterol it can show up anywhere with arteries passing through. Your eyes are full of tiny blood vessels where high cholesterol can show up. You may notice a fatty skin deposit, xanthoma, in your cornea or yellow fat deposits around your eyelids. Xanthomas are not reserved to your eyes, they may also appear on your elbows, knees or ankles, as well as other parts of your skin. 7. Red face. In serious cases especially people suffering from hypertension, usually will have an impact on the enlargement of blood vessels, which conditions can cause the face of people who experience it will be red. The characteristics of this one may still be rarely known by ordinary people, you need to know people who have high cholesterol will usually experience emotional changes, such as easy to get angry when the cause is trivial. 8. Chronic Fatigue and Weakness The feeling of weakness, fatigue and the desire to sleep at unusual hours, are usually caused by poor nutrition, excess physical activity, or an illness. 9. Skin Conditions In addition, hives, and other skin conditions occur difficulty hitting cholesterol levels. These conditions manifest themselves with red spots, inflammation, and an uncomfortable itching sensation that tends to be difficult to control. 10. Food Allergies Finally, people who have new food allergies may have high cholesterol. Although these conditions can be caused by many factors, the excessive accumulation of fat in the arteries and liver can be responsible for some. Don't forget to share with your family and friends as you might help someone. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Here are the top natural herbs to lower cholesterol. 1. Oatmeal. Having a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast daily is another easy way to lower your high cholesterol level. The high soluble fiber content in oatmeal helps lower LDL. It reduces the absorption of cholesterol into your bloodstream. Fiber also fills you up quickly and helps you avoid mindless eating. In addition, eating oats regularly is associated with a reduced risk of cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes. 2. Almonds Before we continue this video, do not forget to subscribe my channel to see other useful health videos. The heart-healthy monounsaturated fats, 
Polyunsaturated fats and fiber in almonds help raise good HDL cholesterol and reduce the bad LDL levels. A 2011 study published in Nutrition Review found that consumption of tree nuts like almonds help reduce LDL cholesterol, a primary target for coronary disease prevention, by 3 to 19 percent. In addition, a 2015 study published in the Journal of American Heart Association states that daily almond consumption may be a simple dietary strategy to prevent the onset of cardiometabolic diseases. Almonds are a great snack or topping for salads, cereal and yogurt. Eat a handful of almonds a day and remember moderation is key. Other nuts and seeds such as walnuts and flax seeds are also beneficial for reducing blood cholesterol levels. 3. Orange Juice Sweet, tangy and juicy oranges are another superfood that has cholesterol-lowering properties. In a 2000 study published in the American Society for Clinical Nutrition Journal, researchers found that orange juice improves blood lipid profiles in people who have hypercholesterolemia. This happens due to the presence of vitamin C, folate and flavonoids like hesperidin in oranges. Drink 2 to 3 cups of orange juice daily. Freshly extracted juice is a good option. 4. Salmon The omega-3 fatty acids called EPA and DHA found in salmon provide protection against high cholesterol. It helps lower triglycerides and boosts good HDL cholesterol slightly, thus lowering the risk of heart disease. In addition, salmon is low in cholesterol and saturated fat. Eat at least two servings of salmon each week. Baked and grilled salmon are the best options. A serving of salmon is about 2 to 3 ounces. You can even take fish oil supplements after consulting your doctor. 5. Soybeans and Soy Products Soybeans and other soy products offer a complete plant-based protein that is great for those who suffer from high cholesterol. Although soy may not lower total cholesterol to a great extent, it can still lower bad LDL cholesterol. This high-protein food contains high levels of polyunsaturated fats, fiber, vitamins and minerals as well as low levels of saturated fat. A study published in 2011 in the Journal of American College of Nutrition found that eating 1 to 2 servings, 15 to 30 grams, of soy protein daily has a significant impact on serum lipoprotein risk factors for coronary heart disease. To help lower your cholesterol, include more soybean, tofu, soy flour, Edamame and enriched soy milk in your diet.
तो दोस्तों अगर आपको मेरा ये वीडियो पसंद आया तो प्लीज़ शेयर कीजिए लाइक करें कमेंट करते जाएँ नीचे इनबॉक्स पे क्यों करके आपको क्या इश्यू हो रहा है और मेरी तरफ से अगर पॉसिबल है तो मैं डायरेक्टली आपको वहाँ पर ही आपका सोल्यूशन दे दूँगा थैंक यू